Okay, for clarification, this is the 60 amp module. This is what it actually looks like, the physical size of it. That's an actual module sitting there. This is blown up so that you can see where the connections are. You notice the pin 2 is missing, just like on the 40 amp. Now, the green is ground. Power blue. Power in red. The green and the blue are a little hard to see when I had it in the shade, so I'm putting a flashlight on it so that you can hopefully see the difference this time. I'm still in the shade because it's so friggin' hot. Now, you're going to need an aluminum case just like this one, like the 40 amp with a big heat sink. The better you cool it, the more amperage you can get out. Now for my calculations, a 20K resistor should be put inside with a 10K turn pot to adjust to the 2.7 volts maximum. I plan on test, uh, adjusting it to about 2.7 and not 2.75 maximum. The 2K and the 5K 10 turn pot, this is a 2K resistor, just a regular resistor. This is a 5K 10 turn pot. And it's mounted with the dash meter. You're going to need a shunt hooked to this output so that you can adjust the uh, amperage. What you're adjusting is actually the voltage to get the correct amperage out. If this thing gets too hot, it automatically reduces the voltage which will reduce your amperage out. So the cooler you keep it, the better it runs. That's all I can tell you. Heat sink the crap out of it. Use a lot of heat sink compound. And that's about all I can tell you. Hopefully this is a better picture.